Well, you may someday be playing a groundbreaking video game that local teens are currently learning to create in what's cool at school. Okay, I think that should work. We should see that this, change the color of this. So Digital video game development, a magnet program at El Dorado High School is introducing students through a computer screen to literally think outside the box, leading to a wide open future. In terms of career in the next 10 years, you're gonna see these skills be used in industries beyond game development. Others who are going to take those skills and go into computer science and engineering and cybersecurity. It's being used in film. It's also the number one architectural visualization tool in the world. This isn't traditional open up your textbook stuff. It is a different mode of learning. So if we go to the viewport, which shows us the actual character. We're doing what's called a game jam, where they make a video game and uh, they have a week to do it. It could be anything. This is practical development, not theory. Students create a 3D model, use coding and visual scripting to plan a problem that needs to be solved, add menus called widgets, do 2D and 3D art, develop, level design and integrate systems. The hardest thing to learn is to sit there and develop the game. I mean, it challenges everything about the way you think. It's artistic, it's programmatic, it's business, it's marketing. So if you had a name for your level, it should load it. Some games develop a way of thinking that outside of the box because there's problems they have to solve while you're playing and you're like, well, what's the fastest way to do this? Challenges abound. Bugs, fixing any bugs, because it's you'll work on something for an hour and then you'll run it and it's like six or seven bugs. But there's always a breakthrough. Once it works. <laughs> That's really the key, right? Yeah. These students benefit from a teacher who's already working in the industry as a game developer at Dotware Games, a company he founded. Having an industry expert work with us was just imperative to their growth. Designing my own video games is probably the most difficult thing I've ever done. The next Fortnite may originate with one of these teenagers. Grand Theft Auto. Addictive. Fortnite. Addictive. Halo. Addictive. <laughs> Madden football. That is boring to me. <laughs> Call of Duty. That is addictive. A lot will have changed from now. Perhaps more realistic uh, graphics, perhaps more, more genres, maybe even. Um, a lot more companies as well. Okay. Uh, and a lot more jobs. Creative skills help to think in different domains, technical skills to design and refine their idea. The work on a groundbreaking game of the future continues. If you want to be really good at being creative, write 10 ideas down a day. Very good. In two weeks, you'll see how good you are at being creative. And that's what's cool at school. To vote for this program, or if you know something that's cool at school, head to lasvegasnow.com under the community tab sections, or send an email cool at school at lasvegasnow.com. The winner will receive 250 bucks for their program. Thank you, Jason, Denny, and Ted, for helping me with my video game tutorial before that shoot, because those guys are experts. That was fun. And video games are fun too. Well, still ahead.